brand new four point purple heart and ebony Felipe Custom Q. 100% American made. Built in the legendary shop up in Pasadena, Maryland. Rick is by far one of the best Q makers that you will ever, ever, ever meet. And I mean that in every aspect of Q building. So Rick builds the old fashioned way. This Q is a solid ebony forearm. So he does not core his Qs. You're gonna get an extremely solid hit out of a Felipe and this one is no exception right here. I have personally tried it out with one of my shafts. It is a brand new Q. It comes with a 13 millimeter maple shaft, but he doesn't core his fronts. Now there's people that uh, core, there's people that don't core, there's reasons to core, reasons not to core. Rick has been building Qs in Maryland since the 1980s. His dad started in the 1970s. His father, of course, a world famous master Q maker, and Rick has always worked side by side with his father, the late great Q maker, Mr. Richard Felipe. And Rick has carried on the tradition extremely well. I can't say enough good things about Rick. Rick does a lot of our repair work, our restorations. He's a great friend of ours. Super, super, super nice guy. And his cues play extremely, extremely good. There's a really good reason why when we sell a Felipe, you just don't see them pop back up on the resale market real often. People buy one and they keep it for life unless you gotta pry it out of their hand. I like what he did here. So he took some really, truly beautiful purple heart. Look at the deep, dark, rich purple heart. So you have four long straight points that are veneered into ebony. That ebony has kind of a chocolate brown uh, color to it. It's got some really good figure. It's not the jet black ebony. In this case, I like the way this uh, kind of brownish chocolate colored uh, ebony, it's got black and brown streaks in it. Uh, I believe this is Macassar ebony, but I'm not sure. Uh, but this particular ebony right here really, really, really looks good with the purple heart. And it's got a very, very, very solid hit to it. Radial pin. Nice 15.4 uh, ounce butt. So you got some good butt weight on it. Very uh, simple, understated, but powerful cue. Again, made by a legendary cue maker, legendary shop. You know, Rick has worked on some of the most expensive cues in the world. People have sent him uh, Zambodis, Balabushkas, Southwests, anything you can think of. And I would put his repair work the way he refinishes cues, the way he wraps cues, the way he restores cues, and the way he builds cues, I would put his cue making ability up there with anybody in the world, and that's a fact. He is very, very talented, and he's a very good craftsman. The finish work, okay? So it's one thing to be able to build a good quality cue, but the finish work, his actual finish uh, looks like glass. That's actually where I've coined that phrase from, from looking at some of Rick's work. So different cue makers use different types of finish. Some of them use a UV finish and some use an automotive clear. I'm talking about the finish on the cue. Rick uses a UV finish and he does multiple coats. And I'm going to tell you what, I don't know how long it took him to perfect this method, but the proof is in the pudding because it does look like glass. The other thing that Rick really, really excels at. Now take a look at this wrap in the center of this queue. This is a genuine black lizard wrap. This wrap is one of my all time, all time favorite textures. I mean, this stuff, it lasts for a very long time. Your hand doesn't slide. This is a really, really good premium lizard wrap. But look how, these, look how his installation is. There's no, there's no type of variation at the top right there. You got to look really, really, really hard to find the seam. The wrap is installed so well that it actually just looks like it's a part of the cue. You can't feel anything. Silky smooth, baby, right there. That is masterful cue making at its finest. Above all, the playability 
is right on point. I'm telling you right now, these things hit solid, 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 solid. 15.4 ounce on the butt. You have a 3.6 ounce uh, maple shaft. You can see the growth rings in there. Rick only uses top shelf woods. 13 millimeter radial pin. Felipe Custom Q available right now at CrossroadQs.com.